with me are 10 ways on how you can accelerate your income in this year 2024. We are barely on the fourth day of the year. And by the way, if you can grasp these 10 points and be able to incorporate them in your life, guess what will happen? You'll be able to accelerate your income. What does it mean in a simple language? How you can actually improve your income and earn more as you progress throughout this specific year. All right. And guess what? Make sure that you like this video. By the way, it doesn't cost you anything. And uh, make sure that you as well subscribe to this channel because I always post a video each and every time. And if it's your first time watching me, my name is Joseph. Let's get started. All right. Now, point number one. One thing that you're supposed to know when it comes to you accelerating your income or actually earning more, there are two ways. Let me not lie to you. There are only two ways, okay? But out of the two ways, we can be able to expand and expound and have multiple A's, areas, okay? Number one. One thing you're supposed to do is two ways. You can actually go ahead and shed on your expenses. Be able to shake off some of the expenses that you know are not necessary. Therefore, you'll be able to realize an increment. Literally, there is no increment. It's only that you've actually shaken down or shake, shaken off those extra income or rather extra expenditures that are actually showing up out there. Alright? So once you do exactly that, you realize there is a what? An increment of someone, some of the cash that you can be able to invest. Another way is actually now shifting on doing some extra thing out there so that at least you can supplement that what you're getting those simple ways now let's de delve into it into sort of deeper into it and try to see which other areas you can be able to do as far as the acceleration of the income is concerned now the point number two on a point number three seek career advancement okay if you're employed all right if you're employed you can actually go ahead and seek what we call the career advancement seek of other better opportunities that are out there don't feel comfortable from where you are earning whichever you're earning at all the time is good to hover around where we have the availability of the jobs try to negotiate yourself out there you can as well seek what we call the salary negotiation and all those kind of things all right i know this is a little bit tougher for some of the people but it actually works and actually applicable so one thing i will tell you is that actually seek what we call the career advancement. That one can actually help you to accelerate your income. Don't feel comfortable. Maybe say you are earning 50, 100, 200 or something of sort, but there's a potential somewhere whereby you, if you were to dare do that, then you can be able to go ahead and earn more. For example, in Kenya, we had some of the nurses actually going to the UK for better. We call it the greener pasture or something. You know, such kind of a thing. Just don't feel comfortable. Try to look for more as you progress to the next level. Number four is actually what we call the side hustles and freelancing. Let me just share with you here and most of the people usually think that they cannot be able to do what you call the freelancing or the side hustles it's quite very possible i do not know who you who you are and what exactly you do in your life let's say for example you are a teacher you are a doctor you are somebody who maybe is a psychologist uh, maybe you are a mentor or whatever you work in a mentor or there is something you can share with the society two ways either something that you did learn from a school or something that you are talented about okay now you can actually let me tell you one one, one secret right now as you speak money is the internet money is in the internet that is not a lie okay and that means that if you can place yourself in the internet that is one of the best areas where people can actually get you and buy for you buy your services for example let me tell you one secret um Whenever it comes, let's say, for example, you are good at land buying and all those kind of things. And I love giving these examples. You know why? Most of the Kenyans usually cry of them being defrauded when they are buying pieces of land or parcels of land because of this. They do not know the actual processes to follow. How about you pick a phone and camera and be able to record those videos and post them and tell people, hey, if you'd like to buy a land, this is exactly what you do. With. This is exactly, this. You seek for this, ask for this. This is how you do the land searching and all those kind of things. Place yourself on the social media. And if you ask me, whatever I'm seeing, things are going the social media account will be the best, will be the first CV or curriculum vitae that people are asking before they even employ you. All right. For example, right now you are watching me. You never know how, how whether I existed. If I didn't pick this camera and record this video, you wouldn't even know I existed. You are a financial advisor. You are sitting on your laps. You are a teacher. All right. We are actually going about to open the schools here in Kenya. We've been closing for the last two months. What did you do? Did you pick a phone? And did you record some videos? Did you talk to parents? Did you advise them? You're a mentor, uh, an individual who knows about the mental health. Have you? Are you talking about the mental health issues on the social media because people are suffering? You are a psychologist and all those guys. Are you? a lecturer i mean there's something that you can be able to do if you confine yourself with only earning from the conventional way of being employed you'll be able to limit yourself 
with the amount of money that you can be able to earn. Millions of people, potentially your video is able to be viewed by millions of people and millions of, for, for example, this video I'm making here, I usually get people from UK, U, Canada, whatever the place, all over the world commenting, commenting on my videos and also reaching me out. Oh, talking of reaching me out, you can as well reach me out for the purposes of financial guidance on the investments and all those kind of things. My number is always on the pinned section or the description of this specific video. You can pick that number or my email is actually always there. You can pick it up for the that's a cup of coffee all right now let's get to the next point now the point number five start a business or no matter how small it is this is a near whereby no matter how small the amount of money that you have obviously with a calculated risk you can be able to go ahead and do what you call starting of a business so that you can be able to supplement your income so that at least you can be able to progress yourself to the next level all right let me tell you one secret okay the shortest route to actually beat poverty there are two ways. Number one is education. When I say education, I mean skills. All right. Skills that you can exchange in return for our money. Number two is actually starting a business. So those are the two distinctive ways on how you can be, be able to do what? To kill poverty or eradicate poverty in your house or in your family. So if you can go out there, for example, people say, hey, when I talk about starting a business, people think like I talk about millions of money. No, it doesn't have to be the case. All right. Just take an example of those guys who surely hawk the coffees, those people who sell some fruits, those people who sell some eggs, you know, and all those kind of things. All right. Those street people who are selling street foods and what they, they don't really require or need a humongous amount of money but you can just place yourself out there and be able to go ahead and do something as far as the finance is concerned all right so do something about starting a business starting a venture starting an investment whichever is comfortable and applicable for you probably you're watching this video and you're like okay fine joseph you just assume for my case i'm occupied i'm employed somewhere i understand if it's not applicable for you to do the business way you can go the investments way all right and talking of investments there are a variety of things that you can be able to do uh, depends on which country that you're actually watching me from okay they are index fund they are bond fund they are etfs they are shares you know or, you, or maybe you call them stocks they are bills they're bonds they are all those things you can be able to pick any and be able to start yeah it won't make you money like humongous amount of it within a short period of time but surely will do so as the time progresses okay that is exactly what you're supposed to understand all right let's go to the next point which is point number six optimize on time management Guys, 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 if there is something essential in life, it's time. Time. Time is a just a four-word term, but let me tell you one secret. All what it means, time, it's actually an essential thing. It can actually help you make or actually break your life. So if you can be able to manage your time, all right? Let me tell you one secret, okay? And this one is actually very much debatable. If you are not good at time management, in most cases, you have a problem even managing your money. I'll repeat my point. If you have a problem with managing your time, then you might likely to have a problem with managing your cash. Another point, if you cannot be able to keep a secret, hardly can you even keep money. Because let me tell you one thing, making money processes is actually a process that is enshrined with secrecy and all those kind of things. When I say secrecy, it does not mean necessarily defrauding and all those kind of things. Can you just check those people who surely make money? There is that thing that they hold dear to themselves about a secret. For example, talk of a case of a Coca-Cola, all right? I don't know. I stand corrected. I usually hear that there are very few number of people actually knows the correct or the actual ingredients of a Coca-Cola. That means secret. And if they cannot be able to keep secret, they're just talking all over the place. Probably could be having like multiple whatever of Coca-Colas or something of sort. But it's the only test. KFC, there is a secret ingredient. If you go to all those companies, and I'm not advertising any company, I'm just naming to explain to you why you should actually be good not only at time management, but also keeping secret. That way can actually be able to help you. Now, how does time help you to actually accelerate your income time management whereby you can realize hey i'm always available like four hours in a day now what can i be able to do with these four hours in a day i do not have a skill therefore i can be able to learn a skill out of these four hours a day a skill that i can be able to monetize and scale it down and be able to make some cash out of it or maybe i can use this time i can start a side hustle maybe i can normal business at the evening i can sell some fruits i can sell some eggs i can sell some milk somewhere and be able to be able to make sense to make some cash extra on what usually unconventionally okay or maybe but when talk about Time. you can be able to go ahead and do some freelancing you know i can learn a skill and be able to do some uh annotations i can do some online writings i can do you know there are multiple things that you can be able to do once you salvage time as far as your life is concerned all right did, did you like the or rather did you like the video all right just hit that like button let's go to the next one number eight multiple streams of income obviously let me tell you one secret if you have one stream of income you should question yourself I repeat, if you only have one stream of income, say you're just employed, that is the primary way you actually make your money. There is nothing else. It's just that in, out, 
nothing else you're supposed to worry about your life you're supposed to ask yourself hey guess what what exactly am i doing what exactly can i do so that at least i may be able to actually have multiple streams of income this is what they say most of the millionaires usually have a um, 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 usually have a minimum of seven streams of income and if you can be able to manage to get those seven streams of income be it okay fine you cannot be able to create them oh, i'm not saying it's, you cannot it's possible but obviously let's be logical it may not be to happen you know within an year but as the time goes you can be able to go increasing the multiple streams of income so that at least you can be able to expand the basket of your income so one thing that you're supposed to understand if you want to have one stream of income that is not a way to go try to find out on what you can be able to do as far as another stream of income is concerned so have multiple streams of income those different streams of incomes are the one that are gonna facilitate you increase your income and by the way do you know one thing the more money you make the more chances you have of making even more true number nine financially planning or have what you call the financial planning guess what the success of a man is never measured by how high he climbs but how high he bounces when he hits the bottom and the net worth of an individual is always measured by how much they have how much they attain the absorbability rate how much can you be able to retain and absorb not how much you make all right by the way if you were to talk about how much people make a lot of people will be millionaires they'll be having a multiple they'll be having a quite a huge net worth but the problem is you make a lot but you actually save way small because you have a very high expenditure rate right so the point is this have the financial understanding and the financial planning understand what goes where and why justify that and then after that save the difference be able to invest that one and be able to progress to the next level when it comes to you know accelerating your income you cannot eradicate the fact of financial planning that has to be incorporated that has to be there there is nothing we can negotiate about it so it's always good to make sure that at least have the financial management have the financial planning so that at least that small that you get that big that you get can actually you know be able to see somewhere where it is actually going the last one it's all about investing and in skills all right learn skills never despise skills if you learn something to do with video editing you can be contracted by some content creators okay who can actually pay you to edit their videos if you do something like photoshopping if you do something that video shooting if you learn skills like uh, uh, you know graphic design if you learn skills some sort of like corel draw if you learn some skills like um uh, you, know, you know you know you know copywriting and all those kind of things you can be able to go ahead and be able to monetize that skill and be able to make some cash out of it so at all the time do not despise the aspect of skills remember what i said at the beginning of this video there are two ways of beating poverty life number one one is actually learning the skills that you can trade with money two is actually starting a business so learn yourself a skill that will help you to go ahead and kill that poverty and you can be able to progress to the next level guess what that marks the end of my video that's my 10 good points that you can use them to actually facilitate and help you to progress to the next level all right so make sure that you do something in this year. We are barely on the fourth day of this year. Depends on when you're watching this video. If you watch this video after three, ten, four months, three years, you can always make a decision and right after watching this video that can be able to be helpful to you. Anyway, guess what, guys? Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Comment down below, tell me what you think. Ken for now, say goodbye and see you in the next one.